We're just going to wrap the hook back to about halfway between the point and the bob of the hook and then come forward. Nothing fancy. It's just to give you something to bite into. I'm going to stop about there. We're about the length of one of the dumbbell eyes back and we're going to put the dumbbell eye on next. Start off by doing some crisscrossing here and then wrapping around and this will tighten up underneath of the eyes. Then what I like to do is this type of a motion here and again wrapping around. You're doing this so that these things don't turn and throw the balance of the fly off because these will be riding point down when the fly is complete. Just be sure you wrap this on good. When you're tying these, probably make up, oh, well, probably four or five of these ahead of time, and then we're going to epoxy them after this step here. And when you get your bucktails, you want to get the largest bucktails that you can, and we'll start by taking some of the curved, the severely curved ends of the bucktail, which is right on this part of the tail, and we're going to use this to tie a tail onto the fly. This bunch I'm tying on is about the size of a pencil. I know it looks large, but we're going to cut most of this off anyhow. And we're going to tie it in with the tail, the, the swept back part of the uh, tail pointed up. And we'll tie it in about, about the length of the hook back of the tails are extending behind the hook. Wrap it on like two or three times and then you can kind of fold this back a little bit, come forward. It, does, it doesn't matter, you're going to cut all this away. Okay, at this point we're just going to cut off all of this excess. At this point I'll tie another bunch on about the same size. This is just a, a fill-in. There's no stacking. Just pull out your short hairs, be sure you're holding them by the tips. Place them on the hook so that they're about the same same length back. And we'll tie these in place. And I think we'll cut this off at this point here. Now we'll wrap these down, these ends. So the tail is now in place. It gives you a view of it. Different sides. Now everything from here on will be tied on the inside gape side of the hook. Okay, in this next step we're taking the uh, hair from the butt section on the inside of the uh, bucktail. It's about the size of a the thickness of a pencil, and we'll just cut that off. We'll clean out by holding onto the longer ends, just some of the shorter hair. And as you can see, we're just going to let this part of it extend back over the inside of the gape of the hook, grasp it right here and we'll just tie this clump in place. So it's about three turns. We just grasp it like that, pull it up. You know, we're just going to wrap in front. Just going to like ramp back up against this. This is to hold these more or less in a semi-vertical position. So this is what, what it looks like to begin with. Then what we're going to do is just kind of divide this about 50-50 on either side of the hook and pull it back out of the way. Now if some is sticking up, it doesn't matter. 
and then we'll just kind of pull them back like this. Again, we'll just wrap up onto it just a little bit. That's just to catch catch them so they stay out. So you, they're kind of swept up a little bit, which is good. You want this fly to be dish shaped when you're done, anyhow. You want it dish shaped up so that when it goes in the water, it'll always ride with the point up. From this point on, we're just going to add more clumps of um, uh, bucktail, just as we did here, and we'll just continue on dividing and moving forward till we get to the eyes of the hook. So at this point we've arrived at the eyes. This is make these final wraps just to kind of hold them up and out. If they're if they're splayed up, it doesn't matter. We're going to divide this as we epoxy this after this step. Okay, then you come underneath, come forward, make a couple of wraps. Unlike all of the rest of these that we've just put on, this last piece that we're putting on ahead, we'll let the tail, the fine ends, project back over the length of the hook. And, and you'll see here in a minute, we've got the short ends forward. We're just going to make a couple of wraps like this, and we'll tighten it up. A couple more maybe three. Fold these back. Hold them back as best you can. Come forward. And wrap. Make a half hitch just to kind of hold that for a second. Come in with your whip finishing tool if you're handy. You used to do it with your hands, do it with your hands. Whip finish. One will do it. The epoxy will hold everything else. At this point here, we'll turn the fly over and you'll do the final shaping, pulling. That's how you get these individual clumps to blend together. And just uh, before I take it out of the vise, I just want you to see a profile of that tail we put on with the curved sections pointing down. It makes the fly stand on its uh, uh, up on the eyes a little bit more, keeps it in contact with the bottom. Mm -hmm. 